Welcome to Research Business Daily Report. It's made possible by RBDR's exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash RBDR. I'm Bob Letterer for 25 years, the respected voice in market research. The Insights team at Forbes has published a thoughtful piece about the inconspicuous and yet briskly expanding installation of corporate chief data officers in corporate America. Now, the first of the CDOs, Catherine Clay Doss, was installed back in 2002, but it did not lead to a lot of others being installed. In in fact, the pace of induction at other companies in corporate America was tepid. Only an estimated 15 were in place as of 2010. And that was in spite of the 2008 financial meltdown that supposedly made CDOs something that were coveted by corporate America for their defensive capabilities. Forbes believes that the introduction of 250 billion terabytes of new data every day today has become a factor that has swept the chief data officer into the C-suite. Incredibly, Forbes' blogged article states that, quote, no one agrees precisely on what the role entails. The technological expertise, the data governance, and the direct report that should be built into every CDO are very much still up in the air. It's difficult to comprehend, but that situation does not show signs of evolving despite the tumultuous change that has taken place inside corporate America. So in 2018, Even though a survey of Fortune 1000 companies shows that about 68% of respondents have a CDO, and even though KPMG has uh, evidence of impressive byproducts that seem to be surfacing with chief data officer equipped businesses, there are problems. For instance, companies with a CDO may be twice as likely to have a digital strategy, and there's an IBM project that concludes that two-thirds of firms with a CDO are outperforming rivals in market share and data-driven innovation. But getting back to the subject of why there's a lack of consensus about CDO responsibilities, well, start with Babson College professor Tom Davenport, who notes that data governance has been the function of the chief information officer, so there's going to be a built-in hesitancy there for the CIO to give up that responsibility. Others perhaps say that it doesn't go uh, far enough if you just limit the concerns to that. For instance, Nusella CDO Scott Sokoloff points out that the CIO-CDO battle for control also has to do with corporate digital purse strings. And there's the founder and CEO of Telic, a biotechnology firm. His name is Richard Wendell, who highlights the disparate needs of businesses not only versus competitors, but also among non-arch rivals and companies who are at different evolutionary stages. Standing in the way of CDO prominence are internal political struggles, and that is an unwanted obstruction and influence-sapping handicap to the typical CEO because it hinders enterprise-wide data disbursement, and that in turn could lead to very strong internal confidences. CDOs also have to overcome corporate relegation to a defensive role, which uh, can hold them back. Unfortunately, it's a stalemating situation, which halts CDO's advancement to a standing as what it could be, a perennial, positive, progressive change agent. That's your Research Business Daily Report. It's been made possible by members of our exclusive community on the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash RBDR. Our videos are produced thanks to the interest and the support of those who watch them Monday through Thursday of most weeks. And we call those supporters Patreon supporters. And they tell us that our reports are filled with thoughtful, valuable information, not just for them, but for their clientele. And we know from our viewership statistics that there are many, many more of you out there who are having an identical experience. You're regularly watching RBDR, and we have to think that you're getting some information that is valuable to you, as well as some entertainment value. So with 45 weeks of RBDR planned for you in 2019, you know that there is going to be a tremendous chest of information being delivered to you on a regular basis. And thus, we expect that numbers of you could and should visit patreon.com forward slash RBDR, where, by the way, you are free to select whatever comfortable level of patronage works for you, say $5 or more, if you feel that way. Have yourself a great research day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.